Hi, uh, good afternoon everybody. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, but I'm going to cover a lot of ground regarding tomorrow's storm here in the Northeast. This video is being recorded on October the 28th. I mean, this is going to be the most amazing storm I have ever seen in my entire life. Why? Not because of impacts, but because of time. When was the last time you can say that we can see up to a foot or more of snow in the New England area, in the Mid-Atlantic area, in October? Alright guys, so much for global warming. I'm playing, I'm playing, alright? Climatolo climatological thing, but I'm just joking. Let's take a look. Uh, there are a number of things on the storm memo today. Very warm water temperatures. Leaves are still on the trees and very wet snow and leaves on the trees. That's going to cause huge uh, power outage issues in western New England. And we are not prepared. Uh, if you asked the average person, do you think your town is prepared? Uh, the answer would probably be no. A lot of towns do not have the proper equipment in place for the storm. And we're just going to be seeing uh, adding insult to injury across New England where we saw our first measurable snow yesterday. Let's take a look at this uh, expansive reach of the storm. Wakefield, Holly, Upton, Taunton, all the weather forecast offices on the East Coast that we're going to be dealing with this thing. Wakefield, you got winter storm warnings in the pink across western Virginia, West Virginia, central Maryland, western Maryland. Winter storm watches in the northwest suburbs of Baltimore. Let's take a look at Mount Holly, cold weather for, Pennsylvania, uh, for uh, Philadelphia. We are not seeing uh, the, the heaviest snow amounts just northwest of Philly. You're going to have to head out to Redding, Allentown, Lancaster. You got those winter storm watches and warnings in effect. Upton Weather Forecast Office, which is uh, for the New York, uh, Connecticut area, you are seeing no advisory in place right now across Shoreline, Connecticut, Long Island, Greater New York City area. Winter storm watches are in place in interior Connecticut, uh, middle state New York, does that exist? I don't think so, in northwest New Jersey. Taunton, all right, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing uh, winter storm watches in effect from most of interior southern New England. Let's turn this thing out here, 5 a.m. Saturday, heavy snow pushing through western uh, Virginia. We're really starting this thing off for a bang. It's rain for D.C., it's rain for Philly, it's rain for Baltimore. As we get into 11 a.m., as you get closer to the low-pressure center, as the storm gets more intense, we're going to see what we call ageostrophic flow takeover. Don't worry about the scientific definition. It just means that more wind is facing towards the low pressure center, which means it's going to be coming more out of the northwest, which means when you start precipitating, you will be at a temperature of about 38 degrees in a place like maybe uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. By the middle of the storm, you'll be at about 30. All right? So you can just see that rain snow line collapse south with unbelievably heavy rates as we go through midday. Check it out by 5 p.m. We've seen that. Uh, rain snow line collapse almost all the way to the coast, but I think this thing is actually a little bit too uh, too nice to uh, the cold air. I, th I think the rain snow line is actually going to be a little bit further inland once you get to New Jersey. At this point, by the evening hours, uh, the New York City area could be talking about a little bit of mixing in with wet snow, but you probably won't see much accumulation in New York. Unbelievably heavy snow pushing through the Poconos into western uh, New England. As you get into uh, the late night hours, it's going to push through um, the uh, areas of northern New England, and we're going to see an unbelievable event for October. This is just unbelievable. You're going to be talking about thunder snow uh, from the Poconos all the way back through western uh, Berkshires. Can't guarantee you'll see thunder snow, uh, but there will be thunder snow, all right? And there will be thunderstorms in the southern Chesapeake uh uh, well, whatever that thing is, I, I don't know, I can't remember it right now, Chesapeake Bay, Southern Chesapeake Bay, watch out for thunderstorms, uh, especially early morning hours of Saturday. Now, let's get to uh, total accumulations. This storm is going to be uh, uh, one for the record books when you get into uh, eastern Pennsylvania, 4 to 7 southeast, 8 to 12 northeast. All right, Poconos are going to support some higher ratios, around 8 to 1, and the uh, southeast Pennsylvania is going to be more like 5 to 1. As you get further south, less than 2 inches for uh, Washington and uh, Baltimore. You could see a little bit of snow on the back side. 2 to 4 for the northwest suburbs. That's a winter storm warning criteria for them. It's not really a winter storm warning criteria for us in New England. 8 to 12 inches from the Poconos to the Catskills to the Berkshires to the Litchfield Hills. And eight and 4 to 7 inches for most of uh, interior southern New England. You'd actually be hard pressed to get four inches in Springfield just because you're going to be seeing that valley effect. Hate to say it. Eastern Massachusetts, you'll be hard pressed to see any accumulation from, uh, I gotta say, saying hard pressed, you know, the uh, whole North Shore area, Boston area. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in on you guys, alright? Because you guys are special because you're gonna have some winds coming off the ocean because it's a typical nor'easter for you guys. You're gonna see 
your uh, warming winds, which means rain for a lot of eastern Massachusetts, Brockton, Plymouth, New Bedford, Boston, uh, that whole area, mostly rain, two to four inches uh, from the inner suburbs of Boston, back through the Metro West, central Connecticut, away from the shoreline, most of uh, Rhode Island, and then the only significant plowable, impressive stuff is interior southern New England, where we're very worried about power outages right now, four to seven inches of heavy, wet snow, eight to 12 inches off to the west. Well, that's it for now, everybody. Thank you for checking in. Stay safe out there and uh, be prepared for the storm.